Hello everyone, Nazim Chagla with you. Uh, before I start my workout session, I just want to give you a little brief, brief uh, background about myself. Uh, I have been a banker for about almost 20 years and then I've been self-employed for the past 25 years. Uh, my passion has been working out and looking after the physical and mental health. I've been working out since the age of 15, so it's more than 50 years. And I have been uh, following uh, uh, people like uh, Rec Park and Steve Reeves and Arlen Schwanziger for the uh, past 50 years and then I'm still upgrading myself, uh, getting knowledge from the physical trainers uh, from around the world. I have done courses on uh, acupressure, on diet and weight loss, uh, sports and nutrition, uh, and uh, Qigong and uh, yoga etc. Uh, so I'm not a doctor, but uh, even if I was a doctor, I would still suggest you that you should consult your doctor before you do any workout. Either you do weight training or you do any other uh, stretches that I show. Uh, right now I'll be showing you some uh, basic stretches, but then uh, I'll have a session with some complex uh, stretches and it's not suitable for everyone. So you must consult your doctor before you do anything. So now we will start our workout session. Thank you very much. Join me now. I will be doing two sets of each exercise, but you can do three or four depending upon uh, your uh, capability and your strength, all right? So before we do any exercise, as I always suggest, you should do some stretches. When I do stretches uh, for this exercise on the, for this video, I always do a simple stretches that anybody can do it. But uh, later on, we will do some complex uh, stretches as well, and that may not be suitable for everyone. But right now, we'll be doing just a simple stretch. We'll stretch our neck muscles, we will stretch our shoulder, our uh, entire body, and then we will start our workout, all right? And we'll be just using dumbbells. There are many, many exercises, but we are not uh, looking for that. We are just working out with dumbbells. So let's start the stretches with me. First of all, you can stretch your neck, or you can do it later on, but let's start with the neck first. So go like this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then go sideways as much as you can. Come here. Breathe in. Go as much as you can. I do three times each uh, uh, sort of uh, exercise. You can do it more also. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Just sort of rotate your shoulders. Do some skiing poses. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. You can go front, twist, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. When you stretch, you should stretch hard, like as if you are pushing the sky and pushing the earth from the other hand, like that. Just to give a good stretch, 
so you feel that the, your uh, muscles are really working out. Stretch, bring it back, stretch, hard. Make sure that you are sort of a very comfortable. When you do this pose, take your right hand and pull it towards you with your left arm pushing outwards. So you go push out with your left, pull in with your right. So this will give you a nice stretch in your shoulders. So same way, hold it. Pull your left hand and push out with your right. So you're just going the other way direction. This will give you a nice stretch to your shoulders and you'll be warmed up. The other one is hold your elbows and push it downwards. Hold your elbows and push it downwards. Hold your wrist. Pull it to the left, hold your wrist, pull it to the right. And then just sort of rotate, so you get a nice warm. After warming up the upper body, we will just sort of warm up our lower body as well. So just hold to a wall or a, or a chair or something, and just go straight, three times. Just go sideways, three times. Go all the way side, three times and then go kickbacks three times. Just go straight three times, little side three times, all the way side three times, and then kick back three times. Today we'll be doing our shoulder workout. Now that we have finished our warm up, we will start our shoulder exercises. We'll be doing four exercises for shoulders. We'll be doing two sets of each exercise. You can do three sets if you want, uh, but I'll be doing only two sets. But if you're carrying light weights, you can do even three sets. So let's start. Uh, shoulder exercise, we'll do start with shoulder press. Take two dumbbells in your hand like this and keep your arms straight at your shoulder width and go straight. Breathing out, breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can go one more, so we go up to twelve because the weight is light and this, will, this is a good warm-up exercise. So we'll just rest for 30 seconds or a minute. Make sure that you are properly stretched. Now we can carry a little heavier weight so that we feel a little resistance. Same way. Go straight. There you go. Ten. Take a break. Rest for 30 seconds or a minute, or if you want a little longer, it's not a problem. This was your shoulder press. Now we'll go for another one. This is similar to shoulder press, but it's called Arnold press. You know, the great bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is what he used to do. So that we will do now. We'll start with the lighter weight, and then we'll go with the little heavy weight.
Let's start the second exercise. The only difference is you go like this. You start from here and you just rotate your arms like this. And then you come back, you come back same way. So go like this. Go. Take a short break. Rest for 30 seconds or a minute. Now we'll do the second set. We can use a little heavy weight if you want. So we start here. Here we go up. You can do eight, nine, ten, whatever, doesn't matter. Take a break. So now we'll be doing the third exercise for shoulders. You have to be very careful that uh, when you do this exercise, don't carry a very heavy weight because that can put a little strain on your uh, muscles and uh, sort of uh, cause injury. So use a moderate weight or a light weight. What you have to do is just go straight like this, bring it down. But when you come down, bring it down slowly. So go like this. On the side pose. So eight or ten. Take a short break. Stretch if you like. Should we start the second set? Stand strong. Eight or ten. Take a break. So first we went shoulder press like this. The second exercise was Arnold press like going like this. The third was going straight. Now I'll go for the fourth exercise, and this will be raising the the dumbbells on the side. For raising the dumbbells on the side, there are two ways you can do it. You can go straight, you can go up, hands like this, palms like this, facing up, or you can go palms facing down. Nothing is wrong because some people you see going like this, some going straight, some going like this. So nothing is wrong, but just make sure that you don't carry a very heavy weight. Some of them you can handle 10, 12, comfortably is good. Unless you are a big bodybuilder and then you want to do a few reps with more, a lot of weight. So let's go.
Take a break. If you feel tired and fatigued, and you see that you don't have much strength in your arm, you can take a little longer break, but don't overdo it or hurt yourself. So if you need, you can take a minute or even two minutes break, it doesn't matter. As long as you are ready for the second set. Start set number two. This goes number two. So now that we have completed the shoulder workout, you can do shoulder exercise with the chest and with your triceps because they are all push muscles. And the, the bicep muscles, you can do with your back muscles. So you can split your workout Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So on Monday, you do push muscles, which is your chest, triceps and shoulders. And then Wednesday, you can do your back and biceps. And then Friday, you can do your full legs. And then since you're working only three days a week, you can add different ab exercises in each workout. So when I do the ab section, I will show you three different uh, exercises to split between Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can alternate ab exercises three days a week, and that will be enough. Hope you will continue to work out, and you would have enjoyed this video, and you'll keep healthy and happy. Bye for now.